What would you do? Storyline, man. So this is a storyline that I come up with. Um, it's a, it's a hypothetical story, and then I give you guys options at the end of it, and to ask to say what would you do. Okay. All right. So now in this case we have uh, Kenya and Brian. Kenya, Kenya and Brian met in the sixth grade. They fell into their puppy love around the eighth grade. Then they begin their relationship, which they maintained all the way through high school. On prom night, the magical night, they decided, hey, we really are made for one another. Uh, they considered themselves souls, soulmates. After high school, uh, their paths would change. Kenya went to USC. Uh, Brian went to the Army. Both tried to maintain a long-distance relationship, uh, but Brian got shipped off to Afghanistan to fight in the war. Neither wanted to break up, so they didn't. Time broke them up. Three years later, Kenya meets Ron, one of her classmates. They hang out, they kick it, they start falling for each other. As time goes on, they got into a relationship. They argued a little bit, but they talked it up to getting, one, getting to know one another. So after some time in, in their relationship, infidelity came in. So it was an on again, off again type of relationship. Are we all together on this? Yes. All right, cool. Now, at the end of their two years of their relationship, on the outs, uh, Kenya's graduating high school, I mean, uh, college. She's getting her BA in psychology. Her entire family and her friends come out to support. Uh, Ron actually comes out as well. So after the ceremony, all the family and friends rush to her, give her hugs and kisses and whatnot. Uh, Ron walks up to her. This is the new guy. Kisses her and he falls to one knee. Now as he's on his one knee and he pulls out this ring box, out comes a loud shout. Kenya Shante Jackson. Coming from an officer in a military suit, mm. which happens to be Brian. Mm. And he walks up to her and he says, I've been waiting five years for this. And he pulls out a ring mm. all at the same time. What would you do? Kenya, A, say yes to Ron, your new guy. Hear Brian out, your high school fling, your one. Avoid both at that time, or D, and then you can figure out D. So we're going to take a break. We'll come back. You guys think about that, and uh, I want to get y'all answers. We'll be right back. Relationship Council. Yeah. Beautiful. Whoa, whoa. You're so beautiful to me. Yeah. You're so ugly. I see you putting on your makeup, lipstick, lip gloss, and my ring. Your shape up and down. Girl, you bad, yeah, you bad. You that bitch that them niggas wish they had, wish they had. Uh, tight dress with some heels on. Only come out at night, but you still blonde. Regulars come every night to get they feel on. No control of your life, cause you been still wrong. Lost your family, lost your friends, lost your man And what you gain, nothing Damn, but I won't judge it, it's for you to know Now, we have a Brian We have Kenya and we have Ron um, Brian is the junior high, high school sweetheart uh, Her soulmate Ron is the guy that she met in college That molded into they molded into a relationship and got to know one another. Mm -hmm. uh, they're both ready to propose yes. at her graduation in front of everybody. What would you do? A, say yes to Ron. B, hear Brian out. C, avoid both at all costs. Or D, you can fill in the blank. Let's go to you, Cordero. What you feel? All right. Um I would say C, avoid both, but same time they're both right there. But the, I think the best thing she, that Kenya should do is take both of them and, and sit down and talk. 
and see, you know, where Brian was. You know, hey, Brian, you was gone. I know we want to be together. Because I know Phyllis is going to be up in, in the edge. Like, she's going to be like, I'm in love with him and him, Ron and Brian. So then you said, hey, you was gone. Since what happened, you came in. I love you both. Give me some time. You know, give me a few months because that's a, that's, you know, that's a lifetime commitment. Right. I think she had to step away from the from situation. At the same time, enjoy your time with your family that day. But the next day, you know, come back to them and sit down and talk and see, you know. So you was so so Kenya should sit down with both Ron and Brian. She should because at the same time, if they never broke up, you know, officially, you know, well, she might have, you know, on her side, but on his end, he didn't feel the way because he came back with right. the ring like, oh yeah, you know, she waited for me anyway. Right, right. You know, so I think she had to sit down with them both, and, and both of them got to be men like, hey, respect it. Okay, you was gone, and I didn't know about you. I see if if she told if Kenya told. Uh, Ron about Brian he you know overstepped his boundaries then I can see why Brian could be mad but both of them can't be mad at each other because they didn't know about each other and you know everybody had, you know was in a different uh, chapter of the, of the story that's a reasonable answer you know I can live with that I can live with that KO where you at with this yeah um, kind of agree but the other thing is I'm conflicted and then the other thing is I know you always come with a twist and I think I already know what the twist is so I'm not, I'm not even gonna call you out on it but I'm kind of conflicted because I feel like I feel I, the first thought that came to mind was yeah. the same thing that Cordero said but I'm conflicted because I feel like marriage is such a big step that if you are in love with one person and you're in love with another person then you don't need to be married because you should you should be in love with one person period point blank like, if you're getting married to somebody, you can't be like, oh, well, I still, I'm still in love with him, but I'm going to marry you because I've been with you as of recently. Or I'm not going to marry you. I'm going to marry him because this is my first love and my one. No, because guess what? Oh, boy, going to come around later on when you having a little argument and there's going to be some real infidelity at that point. <laughs> so so, so what you saying? So my mindset, which is probably not the popular one, is you don't need to get married at all. If you're in love so you with avoid both, both? Them, yeah, pretty much. You avoid both. Exactly. Not avoid, but it's like this it's is not gonna work. Like maybe we can develop a friendship and do the whole dating thing again. But I'm definitely breaking, or she's definitely breaking up with Brian. I can't say it. Like I'm not <laughs> breaking up with no that dude named Brian. But <laughs> no she needs to break up with Brian <laughs> and just be single. Yeah. And then like whatever happens, happens between the both of them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Dama. Um, I it's not loud. Turn her down a little bit. No, Better? They, you know they switch mics. Back away from the D. Oh. Yeah. Right. No, okay. That. Wait, that's too low. Go up a little <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, there we go. That sounds right. Okay, I think that she at least needs to hear Brian out. But I'm the type of person or I think that if Brian was that significant enough for you to consider marrying, you wouldn't be in the situation you would be with, with Ron. Right well, Brian now. been away for four years. But so what? So what? That's what do you do for four years while your man's gone? The same thing the lady did for eighty-five years while her or sixty years, fifty years, however long she he died. Was. No, in the Korean. <laughs> no, you didn't hear about the the oh, no, lady. I don't, I don't know. About um, that. her husband, like they have been married <laughs> for maybe two shady. years. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did that give it up? Or? <laughs> there it is. Okay, go ahead though. Where, yeah. where you at? I don't want to talk about it anymore. 65 year old No it was like 50 years They got married Two years later Well he went on a trip To Afghanistan Came back Left again Or Korea Left again Came back No Came back Left again The second time um, And he was gone I Became a prisoner of war Just missed him for 50 years They just recently Found his body Never remarried Never wow. had kids Anything like that Dang She held that She was loyal To a dead Yeah man. and it's actually One of my co-workers Aunts Wow yeah. Small world But like I feel it Like if it's really You know like No if it's real, real Yeah real, like Then you know So I think I think holding out That long is crazy Yo 50 years yeah. is a long time well, That's also, a long also, time Also That love is It's not 
I mean, it exists, but it's not in our era right now. Right. Yeah, it, it, absolutely true. not in our era. <laughs> That's true. Because we, we not... I mean, yeah. Yeah. Niggas be locked up for three days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey, what's up? Niggas got it three months and the relationship is done. Like, you know. Yeah, let, let a dude find a girl. She be like, yeah, I got a dude, but he in jail. You like, oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. When he coming home? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I got two months? All right. Yeah, yeah no, nah, okay. But I... I agree with Cordero. Like, you have to, I feel like you have to hear Brian out, but then at the same time, like, you have to step back from the situation and, like, think of it logically. So you're breaking up with everybody. Yeah, I am gonna. Yes, I'm yeah. picking D. I'm breaking up with everybody. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Brian, I'm gonna hear him out. I'm gonna break up with everybody. I'm gonna get my life together. I'm gonna really think about it, and then I'm gonna individually have conversations with them and then evaluate from there. But I probably will just not. Yeah. yeah, good answer. <laughs> okay, so now, now listen, twist real quick, and this is just a small twist, but not a big, no, not a big twist. What does this change for you, I want to guess. Brian? Go ahead. What, what is it? <laughs> she pregnant? No. Oh. No. <laughs> but but Brian's divorced with twins. Uh. Oh, he did all mm. that. Brian is divorced with twins. He was gone for four years. He was in Afghanistan. He knocked mm. up Afghanistan. <laughs> Afghanistan. Mm. I think my answer stays the same. Your answer stays the yeah. same? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. So you still give him a chance. Yeah. You screw da- baby daddies. That's dope. I mean, I t- we talked about that yesterday. I told we did you. We talk about that yesterday. Women are more receptive, you know, like open arms. And I, I have a daughter, mm-hmm. and I like I was like biased, like nah, I ain't talking to a woman who got some kids. I said, hold on, nigga, you got a you got a daughter. <laughs> somebody talking to you. Right. I said, you know what? I need to be more mature about it. So like, it took me it took me five years to get over that. Like, I can accept a woman for having baggage because she accepted me because my baggage. Yeah, yeah. I think once get once you get older, like I was talking to my mom about it, and um, the. The pool that you have to choose from is so small anyway, mm-hmm. and the more restrictions you put on it, the smaller yes, you're, you're making your pool and the less likely you are to end up with someone. Yeah. So I had to, like, er- after everything I went through, I really had to just step back. Like, I can't be like, oh, he can't have no kids. He got <laughs> It's like, no, like, we'll just see where you at. I'm yes. not going to put any restrictions. We'll see what I get, and then I'll deal with it as it comes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, dope, man. Dope. You don't have to call me man. man. Oh, just, I'm sorry. I, I know just it's being, the hospitality. He's <laughs> being respectful. Okay. And if he called you Big Booty Ratchet, then. He's <laughs> not you, Dre. Yeah, that's true. All right, well, I'm glad I got everybody's answer, man, and uh, appreciate it, man. Uh, that was my What Would You Do story. I like that story. That was a good story. Yeah. Well, thank you, man. Yeah. It's realistic. I think Very realistic. should have been she was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> then who was she gonna be pregnant by? Like, Corey. The dude that she was with Run? the whole time. Yeah. This then last few. Then well, Corey makes her that makes her decision easier. Yeah, you can't you can't be pregnant with what his be, baby yeah, and then come marry me. With Brian. No, nah, no, 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 no. He no. he'll be a fool at this point. Like, <laughs> I'm I'm no it's Joseph. What would, what would Brian be? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what would Brian do? Yeah. Be Joseph. <laughs> no, ain't no Josephs here, champ. Yeah, only um, you know that happened in biblical times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, uh, thank y'all for tuning in to the Relationship Council. Relationship. We appreciate it, man. Uh, I'm signing out for Hub City Dre, Damo, K. Hub City o. LA by way of LA. So, what's up, yeah. what's up? And Cordero. Uh, yes, Cordero. indeed. Yeah, man. Ray well, the intern. Yeah, Ray the intern. Honey K. Day, our director and producer. <laughs> and uh, Ray yeah. polygamy. <laughs> Ray is all polygamous. Hey, man. My man Ray Young. He, yeah. he living yeah. out here. Ray, no, so I'm living. I was, I was saying the same thing. Like, <laughs> I'm married a gang of these. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm having them all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ray, yeah. 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 Oh, man. Women are a headache, bro. You, you know, you only want one at the Watch end of the day. Watch it. That's the truth. We are in headaches. You, yeah, you really are headaches. You guys are emotional wrecks and headaches. You can't yeah. live with we them, really can't live without them. too, though. Yeah, if you bob right, not the not the, the dry jack off. It got to be oh, <laughs> not the dry. Yeah, when you choke it and really try to kill it, oh, not man. cool, my nigga. You got to slide that hand. All right, we're signing off from the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Those days.